I'm Richard Saxton. My guest on the Business Channel is Rick Wagner. He's the Chief Financial Officer for General Motors. When I think about that, I think about how many zeros do you have to deal with? Uh, a huge industrial corporation, a lot of big numbers, huh? That's right. We're used to dealing in billions. That's the truth. Well, uh, billions in the red or billions in the black, how does it look for 1994? Well, we're hoping to move, uh, particularly our North American operations, from a, a long-term run in the red to, to be in the black next year. That's the objective we've set. We set the objective for, again, the North American auto operations this year to break even this year, 93 uh, calendar year, I guess I mean to say, uh, to break even at the earnings before interest and tax level. And then the next step in the progression would be in 94 to try to make it a, a, a net income uh, positive. And that's basically be, be the third year of, of big continuous improvement. Our, the rest of our businesses are running running pretty well. We have four other sectors, international, EDS, Hughes, and GMAC, and those have continued to run pretty good positive numbers here over the, over the whole time period we're discussing. I guess there was some speculation with the changing of the guard at the top that there might be a, a sell-off of either Hughes or EDS. Uh, you've heard rumors about divisions being shut down at least a year ago when, when times were tough. Uh, what can you tell me now? Well, we have done some divesting, particularly in the component area, and we obviously announced the sale of our, our gas turbine division, so we've done some of that. But I would say now really the focus is uh, we're, we're basically only moving out of businesses that we don't want to be in strategically. So we have some other component operations that are for sale, primarily because we think strategically or because of our financial structure we really can't be competitive over the long term. Um, but we really aren't right now actively pursuing other asset sales to generate cash. The e-stock contribution which we announced or the effort to contribute uh, the ownership that we have in the e-stock uh, of about 40 percent of the, of the remaining value of the company to our pension fund, uh, we announced that in November and we're trying to proceed through the approval processes in Washington and that is basically focused on our effort to try to improve our, our unfunded pension liability which has got a lot of coverage uh, and it's a high priority issue for us. Rick, where are the weaknesses, where are the strengths, uh, you know, as you go through the various divisions and uh, components of GM? Well, I think we're pleased with um, the ongoing performance of EDS. They've done a nice job. Hughes, over the last a couple of years, has really done a nice job of converting basically from being a, a government uh, contract house to, to trying to expand into some commercial activities and they've done they've done a real real nice job from that perspective we're happy with that GMAC is is significantly affected by our performance and credit rating and so their earnings have been hurt basically because of the downgrade of the credit of the parent company but their business seems to be turning around this year and they've continued to earn well the international operations continue to be strong despite a weak Europe and I think the North American operations then are, are out front as our biggest challenge. As I mentioned, we were quite deeply in the hole a couple of years ago. We've had some pretty good progress. We still need to, uh, to, to move ahead on that front and get, get significantly in the black. So I think the big challenge we have continues to be the North American car and truck business and the component activities, which really have, uh, have turned into the black pretty well this year. So we're really, really trying to get, uh, get the North American car and truck business uh, in, into the black. That's, that's what we need to do. What would be your worst nightmare, higher interest rates or a stronger dollar? versus the end to get the Japanese back in the game, uh, what would it be? Well, I think what we really are looking for, uh, I, I guess what would help us is continued steady economic growth. We'd like to see a continued strong car market. It uh, doesn't have to be huge growth, but we'd like to see steady growth in the next couple of years. So I'd say a, you know, a nightmare for us would be a sudden downturn in the economy that, that would significantly affect the car market. Pleased to say from all of the forecasts that we've received, uh, I don't think really anybody's expecting that. There's a lot of uh, disagreement on the amount uh, uh, of the growth in the market the next couple of years, but most people seem to be maybe even in, even more optimistic than us. Quick question, we're out of time. When's the dividend going back up? Well, that's something for the board to decide. We've got to clean up the balance sheet, and uh, I think our, gener our job is to really generate cash and get the operation profitable, and the board will decide uh, when we can uh, take that step to reward our shareholders, which we'd like to do. All right, thanks so much. Thank you, appreciate it. My guest on the Business Channel, Rick Wagner, the Chief Financial Officer of General Motors on the Business Channel.